My name is Thomas Huckaba. I'm 35 years old. I uh, got my bachelor's degree at the University of Oregon. I have two master's degrees, uh, one from a school called Emanuel, another from East Tennessee State University, and I got my PhD at Columbia University in New York. I've always been a bit of a tinkerer. Um, you know, I'm the kid who got in trouble for taking the radio apart when he was a kid because I wanted to know how it worked. I took the Damon Runyon Cancer Research Fellowship because I know that I'm in a group of people who are making enormous strides in the sciences. Science is fun. You know, it looks like drudgery, you know, the way it's portrayed a lot of places, but I mean, it's, it's really a lot of fun. We, we break down things to their smallest components and we figure out how they work and then we build them back together. I spend the bulk of my time in the laboratory because it's really what I enjoy doing. Um, don't tell my wife that. <laughs> my research focuses on the transition between stable tumors and metastasis. So what happens when cells from a stable tumor mass migrate away and colonize other parts of the body. The primary aspect of, of cancer is a tumor. This is a mass of cells that just doesn't stop dividing and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and in the aspect of a human this is a bad thing because it's a, this this takes a lot of resources from the rest of the body and uh, ultimately a, a tumor will kill you. Um, and if we're lucky enough a tumor exists in a place where we can operate and we can come out and just remove the tumor and take it out of the body. However, there are certain secondary characteristics that tumors take on. Cells begin to migrate away from this tumor and get into things like the blood or the lymph. My research focuses on how individual cells can move away from a stable tumor mass and get into the bloodstream. And some of the best chemotherapeutic agents have blocked individual spots in this pathway. My research focuses on how a cell senses a direction how it knows there's a blood vessel over here and I'd like to go over there and get in that blood vessel. We're chasing our ideas and we still have a certain enthusiasm and excitement about them that's maybe not as present later on. And we also don't have the trappings of being in the field for a long time. The young investigator is, is in a very vulnerable position and it's a shame to lose bright young minds to, to not having the funding to pursue the things that they want to do research in. When you're doing clinical research, there's a certain urgency that yeah, this is work I need to do today in order to help people tomorrow and not a week from now and not a year from now or 10 years from now. I would do what I do just because I enjoy it, but you get a certain extra level of gratification out of the work knowing that perhaps one day I might actually help somebody with what I'm doing.